Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Aishram Alyala. This is one of the most important video. So in order to continue properly without any problem in JOSA and as well as to CSAP. Okay, so make sure you watch this video and also and also if you have someone, anyone of your friend who also attended JOSA counseling along with you. So make sure you share this video to all of them because so if you do any single mistake at this particular moment, whatever seat you got, you will be cancelled. Whatever dreams you had of getting into IIT or NIT or triple IT, so everything will be of no use. Okay, so I am requesting you. It's not just because I want views or not. Uh, so I just want you guys to don't commit the mistakes. So that's what the main purpose of me creating this channel is the same. So I did some mistakes in my JOSA counseling. I don't want you guys to do the same. So if uh, someone who is following me uh, continuously from the start, they know it. So that is why I'm asking. Make sure you share this video to all your friends and class groups wherever uh, you feel that there are people who attend JOSA counseling or CSAP counseling from that particular group. Okay. So now let's get into the video. So first important thing which I wanted to talk is many people are asking me whether the seat will freeze automatically after six round of JOSA or not. There are people who are asking me. Anna, like in my third, second or third round, I kept uh, float. It is still showing float. I am unable to freeze the seat. And some people are saying it is still showing slide. I am unable to convert it into freeze. What to do? See guys, you need not to freeze it with your hands. Automatically the seat will get freezed. So there are no more JOSA rounds, right? So whatever seat you have till the sixth round. So in the sixth round, once check the allotment. So that is the final seat allotment for you through JOSA. Now I hope you got some clarity. So the same thing I have clarified through our JOSA short series. So very less people are watching those short series you be uh, like you just uh, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell icon so i'm updating everything as, as a short videos so that means if you it will not waste you much of your time but at the same time that can convey you a, a lot of information in less than one minute so it will be very helpful right so i'm doing all these things just for you guys so show me some love in terms of liking this video sharing this video commenting down whatever your queries and also subscribing to the channel yeah so now one thing sorted like regarding whether the seat will get automatically logged or not yes it will get logged so this is done so next thing so we have uh, taken up this initiative like two years back so like where we are guiding some limited number of friends with the mentorship we are giving providing them 24 by 7 mentorship they will be having a personal mentor who will be guiding throughout the counseling process till they join the college so choice filling updates related to dates during document upload if any doubts you if, you if you come across any doubts or any problem they'll try to help you and resolve the issue as soon as possible in a proper way so if you also want a mentor for yourself like a big brother or big sister Come on, uh, do join our mentorship program. Link for that particular mentorship program registration is in the de description. Check that link. Pay triple nine rupees. So and you will get a personal mentor. You will be added to a WhatsApp group where I'll also be available. My number will also be there. I also connect regular meets. So during the counseling to clear all your doubts. So if you want to join that particular uh, mentorship, check the link in the description as well as in the comment section. I'm waiting for you, uh, you guys. Okay. So already we have guided almost 80 plus students during JOSA counseling. Very few slots are left for CSAB counseling. So if you want to, if you are interested, do check out the link and register as soon as possible. Uh, so now let's uh, take two cases. So after six round, first I will talk about those who didn't have any seat. So till six round, I didn't got any seat or else I got in second round or third round or fourth round or fifth round. I withdrawn or exit from the counseling at that moment only or else my seat got cancelled in the JOSA rounds because of not submitting proper documents because of not paying the fees so to all these people so like as you don't have any seed with you directly what you can do is if you are interested you can directly participate in CSAB that is special round counseling which is starting from 3rd August okay I guess on 2nd you will get the vacancies okay next thing whoever didn't got seat allotment that is also sorted those who got seat what they have to do after 6 rounds of counseling so let me show you and explain on the schedule so that it will be easy for you to understand okay and you will also not miss out any deadlines so this is the schedule round 6 26 uh, so they didn't give of course they didn't give on 8 pm so almost in the night uh, so the thursday 12 50 around 12 40 12 45 around that time they have released the result so, so round 6 so that usually happens so of course it's completed doesn't matter so now seat allotment is out done next 26 to 28 see this whoever got seat allotted newly in the sixth round for the first time till fifth round he don't have any seat but on the in the sixth round itself directly he got some allotment they have to complete 
fee payment document upload response by client to query that means after uploading documents if there is an issue they will raise a query right they have to sort it so before 28th 8 pm they have so this is the last round for iits guys there are no more iit rounds because of course iits will not be available in the csab counseling so that's why they have mentioned it, it here so whoever got seed or attend newly completed that's uh, that part is also done so now that like now this comes to be the main part for everyone irrespective of the seat whether you got allotted in round 6 round 5 round 4 round 3 or round 2 or round 1 so everyone what they have to do if you have iit seat what you have to do directly go and report at the iit college for example i got in iit mandi what i have to do is I have to go and check the iit mandi official website check for the dates of reporting check for the required documents check for how much fee i have to pay so if i have to check these three things and then accordingly i have to pay that fees before the deadline I have to go there and report according to the date and time given to me and I have to what I have to submit the required documents by them. So whatever documents they are asking take them take one original copy along with that take two sets. So to, this is for all those who got seat allotted into IITs. So first thing is so you have to report if you don't report your seat will be cancelled. So I have explained about what you have to do what you have to check the website. So there is this PDF uh, by Josa which they kept uh, you can see I will be leaving this PDF link in the description it, it has every link of each and every IID which is show which has the date of reporting and the like, information for freshers of your institute for example if I talk about IIT Karakpur August 1st to August 3rd is the reporting date and if you want to know more about fee details documents required you just go have to visit this particular website so I will leave this PDF link, link in the description download this PDF according to your ID check the link and go and check everything okay so now the thing is if you want to attend for CSAB yes you can attend CSAB but on, on one condition if at all you get the seat there in CSAB in NIT plus system so IIT is so it's up to IIT whether they have to refund your fees or not so even if you pay to JOSA the money will be going, uh, like going to IIT right it's up to IIT whether they want to give the refund or not so there won't be any involvement of JOSA so even if you paid as a seat acceptance fee so please keep that in the mind if you want to attend for CSAB you can attend but the money paid here will be depending on the IIT whether they want to issue the refund or not in majority cases they won't do but if your luck favors you can request them ask them what is the process can we apply or not in CSAB by going there so now guys uh, according to the schedule if you see here for NIT plus system there is one more extra column Wednesday to Friday that is till 5 pm of 28th July that is till tomorrow you have an option to initiation of withdrawal of seat so still if you want to withdraw the seat from NIT Play system you have the chance you will get the refund of whatever you paid as a seat acceptance fee okay okay then you can if you want you can directly ap uh, apply for CSAB and uh, uh, attend CSAB also okay so this is one process that deadline is 5 pm of 28th July so if you don't want to withdraw you need not to do anything but uh, from 29th to 31 July you have to pay partial admission fee this is an online payment of partial admission fee visit CSAP 2023 website for further details on institute reporting admission process and special round so this partial admission fee will be there on the JOSA website only in the JOSA portal only you have to pay in the same way how you pay to seat acceptance fee you have to pay partial admission fee so how, what is the home, uh, partial admission fee for uh, general EWS OBC it is 36,000 and for SC, ST, PWD it is 16,000 paying partial admission fee is mandatory guys so if you want to your seat to be reserved on your name you have to pay the partial admission fee at any cost so if you miss paying the partial admission fee your seat will be cancelled so partial admission fee and seat acceptance fee both should be paid in order to keep that seat particular seat on your name okay I hope you got a clarity on this whatever fee you are paying as a seat acceptance fee and parcel admission fee don't worry that whole money will be transferred if any seat got changed in CSAB also so whatever seat you have whatever seat you have after the last round of CSAB after the second round of CSAB if your seat got changed they will transfer to that college if your seat didn't got changed they will transfer to whatever college you have now so here you are not paying to the college here you are paying to JOSA and CSAB after cutting their processing fees and charges they will send you the remaining amount back to you so don't uh, like worry about the money 31st July 5 pm is the deadline to pay the parcel admission fee the portal will open on 29th that is Saturday 
so saturday to monday you have option 29 july to 31st july will they will give you option to pay the partial admission fee on the josa portal itself so after this then on august 2nd they will release the vacancy list after that on 3rd august csab registration will start okay so this is the process so you have to be careful with all the deadlines if you don't want to participate in csab directly pay the partial admission fee check the official website when they are calling you what are the reporting dates in the college and complete the self reporting and uh, uh, complete the document verification there that's it so i hope with this particular video you have cleared all your doubts related to what you have to do after 6 rounds of josa counseling if you feel the same uh, like do uh, like this video and do share this video to all those people who are participating in josa and csab counseling so i am sure that this video cle will clear all their doubts related to that okay so that's it for that's it for this video guys if you find this is a time worthy video please do like share and subscribe see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind and uh, very few 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 slots are left in our mentorship program if you want to take the mentorship program if you want a mentor or a brother or a sister to guide you so check out the mentorship payment link in the description so very 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 few seats are left i am saying you that so do check out the link and register now and i will be adding you to the whatsapp group where my number will be there i'll be guiding you throughout the csab counseling process chalo bye bye